sleep, our mind can do almost anything. Such as? Well, imagine you're designing a building, right? You consciously create each aspect. But sometimes it feels like it's almost creating itself, if you know what I mean. Yeah, like I'm discovering it. Genuine inspiration, right? Now, in a dream, our mind continuously does this. We create and perceive our world simultaneously, and our mind does this so well that we don't even know what's happening. That allows us to get right in the middle of that process. How? By taking over the creating part. Now, this is where I need you. You create the world of the dream. We bring the subject into that dream, and they fill it with their subconscious. How could I ever acquire enough detail to make them think that it's reality? Well, dreams, they feel real while we're in them, right? It's only when we wake up that we realize something was actually strange. Let me ask you a question. You, you never really remember the beginning of a dream, do you? You always wind up right in the middle of what's going on. I guess, yeah. So how did we end up here? Well, we just came from the, uh... Think about it, Ariadne. How did you get here? Where are you right now? We're dreaming? You're actually in the middle of the workshop right now, sleeping. This is your first lesson in shared dreaming. Stay calm. <laughs> Full of glass hurts like hell when you're in it, it feels real. It's why the military developed dream sharing. It was a training program for soldiers to shoot and stab and strangle each other and then wake up. How did architects become involved? Someone had to design the dreams, right? Why don't you give us another five minutes? Five minutes? What? We were talking for like at least an hour. In a dream, your mind functions more quickly, therefore. Time seems to feel more slow. Five minutes in the real world gives you an hour in the dream. Why don't you see what you can get up to in five minutes? <laughs> 